Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck! What happened? I missed the bite. Bro, right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's the Banked Angler. So, today we headed out to Cerritos Park. I believe they changed the name. It's called Don Nade. So, I got Teddy with me. So, last weekend we went on somewhere like a, a scouting mission. So, we went to three different parks. We went to Laguna Lake, Ralph B. Clark, and uh, we ended up at Cerritos. And so that was the winner. So we got to go back there and try to smash them today. I was able to get a, a, a two bites last weekend. I caught one. It was a pretty strong fish. And uh, so I thought I didn't think it was going to work out that way because they have bluestone in the water. And you'll see, you'll be able to see on the footage. But yeah, it's it's they loading it up with that damn bluestone. And so we'll see when we get there. All right, guys, we're pulling up at the Walmart because some people don't have a license, a fishing license. Your equipment snatched in. <laughs> they tried to take Brian's stuff. Uh, that Eldorado. I got my Eldorado pass yesterday, too. What we do, I get every year. But... Yeah, I gotta go back to Eldorado. I got, I gotta get revenge. All right, we're gonna see. And, uh, I mean, it's cool. Like, I might start wearing it because the monkey pox and stuff. But I pretty much don't wear a mask. Because steel yeah. sharpens steel. If you, if you want to get your immune system strong, you got to be exposed to it. Not, not for no monkey pox. <laughs> I, I'll be saying, uh, first person at UPS to get monkey pox, I'm out. <laughs> I would be collecting EDD checks. <laughs> Cause I ain't finna be ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cause my other job, I can. Uh, it allows me to uh, sign up for unemployment, even though I still work. Cause oh, it, it's, yeah. I can. I can make it tax free. Oh yeah. So they allow me to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna get some fat EDD checks because I ain't finna be ugly. Yep. They were showing me that, they were showing me uh what it looked like, the monkey pox? Oh, oh, oh hell no. Nah. Oh no. Out of here, some drink too. Yeah. <laughs> the police at, at Alondra gonna see this video like that motherfucker didn't have no damn license this whole time. <laughs> I talked to him yesterday. It was cool. Yeah, they cool with you, but yeah, you supposed to have it even Alondra. Yeah, no disrespect, guys. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have it next time. All right, so we out here. I'm about to get set up. So last week when it came, I was not prepared. I had no idea what this place was gonna be like. So now gonna get set up. I'm gonna smash the ass. The water is so dark, you gotta use something with vibration, something with movement. I'm gonna tie on a spinner bait. It should be a great day for a spinner bait. Let's see. All right, see, so last weekend I caught one on this net baits. I think I'm gonna go, fuck it, we're gonna go back, back to it. Yeah. Because the water is so dark, you need something to contrast with that dark water. So you have to use black or some type of dark blue. If not color, you got to have some type of blade or something that's going to like disturb the water. I got two bites on this little T-Mac last week, so it should be good to go. So we also gonna do some type of like little shootout between this smelly jelly tried and true versus this new bait fuel that people talk about is science, science made and all this bullshit. I don't think it's gonna work that well. 
All right, let me see. We've got two worms, spinner bait, and jerk bait. Oh, I bought a black jerk bait just for this place. I'm gonna give it a go. Actually, let me start off with the jerk bait. Should we go with the tried and true? Or should we try the smelly jelly? No, fuck that. I'm going to put the smelly jelly on. Ugh, it's just stink. Just add scent to your bait. Make it smell real. And this scent, this is called a uh, smelly jelly uh, bass hammer. And this is basically crawfish. And it doesn't stink like, uh, maybe you guys have made it smell like catfish bait where it's like cheesy and it's really stink. This just smells hella fishy. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like fresh. Right. GoPro, stop recording. I said GoPro stop recording. That motherfucker better been recording. I swear to God. Got it? Got one. Oh shit. Here we go. Hooked up. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go back to back. Let's go back to back. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tired his ass out too. Is that a drop shot? Hell yeah. Let's take a shot of this. Hey, what you catch him on? Oh, drop shot. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Nice. All right. What? Let me get another one. All right. Uh, Hell yeah. Got it on uh, film. You got it on film? Yeah, at least when you brought it in. I'll post you. I can just locate a few of them, I'll tear their ass up. It's fine. Ooh. I'm break my shit. Oh, I got a nice one. Oh my God. Bring your ass here. Bring your ass here. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. 
Oh my fucking god. Are we recording? Holy shit. Look at this fish. Oh. Holy god, I fuck. I gotta hook myself. Holy shit, that's huge. Oh my god. Look at this. That's a fucking six pounder. Get out. Get this fucking out. Get the fuck out. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this fish. It was so worth it. Oh my god. Look at that. That's huge. Holy shit. Oh. That was worth my whole trip. It's the biggest fish I ever caught in a pond. Look at that. Oh. Oh my God. Let me get a picture. I'm so glad I switched up that bait. Look at that. Oh my God. That's massive. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, I'm gonna let him go. Oh, thank you. Woo! I switched up. I was using a Vision 110 and I switched up to a Jackal Re Range. This is known to get trigger bites. Oh my God. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> oh shit. That was so cool. So I'm casting out this man bear pig in a blank check color. And supposedly this shit is money. I don't know if you can tell, but the water, they put a chemical in it called bluestone. So that's why the water is blue. If you can see those pumps, those aerators, that water coming out is blue. See, look, this is the man bear pig in a blank check color. This is black and blue, the king of all colors. So like I said, they put a chemical in the water to kill all the vegetation and the water is very dark. So you need something that's gonna contrast with that dark water. Pretty much the only color is gonna be able to do it is black and blue. You guys are wondering how blue is able to contrast with this dark water because it's not really a dark color. It's the way that water works. I mean, the light works underwater. The wavelength of blue, it disappears last. Like right before black, it disappears. So instead of these uh, fish seeing black and blue, they basically see black and something shiny like black and silver. Oh, finally, they actually do have grass here. Okay. Dragonfly landing on my rod. Come on. It's good luck. Twist his damn ankle, you seen that? The skater, the skater. 
I used to be a skater. Yeah. And one day, uh, uh, I was doing kick flips and practicing all my little uh, flipping the board moves. And then so I went from doing that and then to jump over uh, four four boards. We used to stack them like like this mm -hmm. on top of each other. And then so I went to jump over it, but my feet did the little kick flip motion. Yeah. So the 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 board landed right on my like right here, right on my balls. So that was that was the last day I went I was skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I handed my board over. It was expensive too. Like, nope. Done with that. Got one. Let's go. Holy shit. Ooh, I thought that blue stone was gonna get fucker. Yes. Woo. Dragon, uh, uh, I switched to a black worm and got one. I got that on video too. Yeah. Good All right, I'll throw it back. Oh my God, I can't believe with this chemicals in the water, I didn't think I was gonna get one. Take a I know I, <laughs> I think you gonna lose that yeah, nah, I don't know what he's gonna give him a chance. Yeah, the fucking the, the chemicals in the water. I was using a light bait. Go, I switched, I switched to straight black. That's what this is, we were talking about earlier. Oh my god. Yeah, that fool, you said I was ruling too fast. He was gonna okay. He wasn't coming off at all. He had half of him hook coming out of his face. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna let him get away. See when I first see I used to couldn't stand bass, but when I really got serious, I actually was multi-species uh, fishing. I had an ultralight rod, a little spinning rod, and so whatever I could whatever I catch, that was just it. And then I used to hate on all the bass fishermen, like the power fish and reel them in all fast like I'm doing now. Cause I, di I didn't understand it. And then once I got, I got a little Dobbins rod, Dobbins tree rod, and I start going out there. And then I'm like, okay, I'm getting it. You know how long it take this blue stone to get out the water? Oh my God. Ah, oh. oh, fuck! What happened? I missed the bite. See? Got that tick tick. Damn! See, look. <laughs> so I took my hands off the rod. Oh my god. Dang. Ah. <sighs> Damn, that probably was a small one. Wow. It picked it up too, it was like tick tick, my line got tight. Ugh. Can I get that on GoPro? Yep. Damn. See, I was just gonna smash his ass too. Wow. All right, guys, you just see me panic set. I didn't have both hands on a rod. I was using the tennis worm, and so that's never gonna work out too well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and end it on a good note with Teddy's final catch of the day. He's in a drop shot pretty much for the whole day and he was able to get two pretty good ones, right? In tough conditions, it was super hot out, blue stone all in the water, he did a good job. By the way, it's only right to have Teddy as my first guest on the channel because he is the first person to take me fishing and introduce me to the sport. So thanks to him, now I have a hobby and a passion for life. All right guys, so if you made it this far in the video, that tells me that you're serious about fishing. So go ahead and comment down below your favorite spots that you'd like to hit up in and around LA. All right guys, so if you like this content, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank mm -hmm. you.